Does anybody know what German new objectivity is? I have some I have some idea what it is, but there's there's not that much written about it. So if anyone knows anything more about it or could suggest any more films, then it'll be greatly appreciated. Anyway, different from the others is a 1919 German silent film directed by Richard Oswald. It's the story of a musician called Paul Corner, played by Conrad Veit, 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 Veit. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's a, it's a story of a musician called Paul Corner who, who falls in love with his younger male student. Mutual, reciprocated. And it's obviously at a time when homosexuality was considered a mental illness and a, a terrible stigma. So the, the, their feelings for each other are sort of new and kind of confusing to them. Things then turn from awkward to nasty when Paul is uh, followed home and sort of seduced by some strange lurker at a cross-dressing disco who then threatens to create a scandal if he even slipped some hush money quick-like. <laughs> So you, so you must be thinking, 1919, a film about homosexuality. How did that happen? Well, under the Weimar Republic, I believe it was, there was a, a brief lapse in censorship where it kind of didn't exist. So there were some very controversial films and some a lot of the very important issues of the time but that were considered smut were talked about in films like this and in the, the other films of G.W. Pabst, who I've, I've not seen any yet. I'm, I'm getting ready to venture down that path with G.W., but yeah, obviously the censorship was tightened up again pretty quickly after. But yeah, that, that brief window sounds really interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing some more from them. But yeah, onto the film itself. Um, uh, coming coming from sort of the last laugh and Sherburn, where that do you know where? Well, that I mean the last laugh is a, is a few years later than this. So th there was a lot of camera moving, a lot of innovations going on there. Sherburn not so much, but there's there's some elements of modern visuals there, like the the creeping camera behind the guy. But it, some of the, some of the acting was a bit melodramatic in that. So this film at first, I think, uh, first of all, it's, it's quite hard to critique it because it, there's only fragments that remain of it. It's um, a lot of there's a lot of intertitles filling in scenes that aren't there, so it's it's hard to tell how much. How much of the film was actually told visually, in, you know, in the way that I said before, the Kammerspiel film films didn't have intertitles at all. Everything was told visually, so it's hard to tell how much of how much of that was intentional in this film. How much does not But the visuals to me didn't seem very interesting at first. They're just they're they're very straightforward. Very it's just like it just looks like a normal silent film. But one thing that I did notice was that while I was watching it, I was thinking that is is this because it because it's quite a straightforward story and it's quite quite bold and it's not sugar-coated it's very sort of it's very direct how it deals with this subject matter the very controversial subject matter of the time and I thought maybe I, I was thinking maybe maybe that's how why why it seems so straightforward because it feels like that there's nothing flash there they're not trying to do anything not trying to dress it up not trying to not trying to do anything flash with it and uh, then when I when I looked after them the, the limited writing there is about new objectivity it says that it was sort of a response to German expressionism where they, they took all of that se the sort of sensationalizing away and the the over-the-top stuff and kept it very simple so though the visuals weren't exciting to me I, I do understand why they were that way and I'm assuming this is sort of the first film I've seen from them and I think if, if none of the other films are like it then maybe it was just not very interesting visually but the big difference in between that and Sherbin and the Last Laugh, the Kammerspiel films, was the acting, because the the acting seems, as well as the subject matter, the acting in this seems very much more forward looking than in those. Like I I said, um, some of it seemed, some of it seemed intentionally over the top, but some of it just seemed really quite bad over the top. And there, there was a there was actually I, I pinpointed the scene in Sherbin where there was there was a moment where a character was overcome with emotions. And it was really over the top. But in this film, there, there's a scene a very similar where someone's overcome with emotion. And I just thought, that's how you do it. So there was the the performances. There was a rawness to the performances, and there's a, it's there, it's very restrained compared to the other films from the time, and that that I really liked. So yeah, in conclusion, um, different from the other, it's, it's a, an interesting film from that period. The, the visual style and maybe not that interesting for me. Yeah, if, if um, the other films are. More, more, the more complete films that, that are there if they, if they carry on that aesthetic I'm very interested in seeing more of that the the new objectivity whatever it is like I got really excited about Kammerspiel film but, that, but it's like my ideal it would be somewhere in between this because this this is the restraint of this film in the acting 
has has a realism to it. But I but I'd also like really like the visual storytelling of the Kammerspiel film. So my sort of ideal would be right in the middle. So that's hopefully where this channel will end up. I don't know. So yeah, it's interesting as an artifact, but yeah, I wouldn't. I don't. Even, I'd only recommend it if you really needed to see it. But yeah, um, has anyone else seen it? What did you think? If if you've seen, it, if you found it, um, and there's other, um, and these other films, these GW Paps ones, I'm about to go. In. I think I've got a Pandora's box and. Oh, I can't remember the other one. Lady of the Night or something like that. I can't remember. But if 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 anyone else has seen any similar films like this, they could recommend. Just drop them in the comment box below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll be back next week with another reviews on realism. Guten Tag. Wait, is that hello?